Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as part of the Moment 4 feature update that's been rolling out over the last month or so to Windows 11, Microsoft has included and introduced a couple of improvements in the Paint app, bringing a couple of so-called Photoshop features to the legacy Paint app, which do give it a bit of an improvement. And over and above the scented canvas, as I have been posting, we get the new background removal tool. And we also get this layers tool, which I noticed um, has been on a controlled rollout and only rolled out uh, in my region in the overnight update to the Paint app from the Microsoft Store. So I thought this may be a good time just to show you how you can use layers in case you are unaware. Maybe you've received the feature, maybe you haven't. But just a quick video to show you how you can stack multiple images on top of each other. And as mentioned, very similar and is a very basic and similar feature to what we get with Photoshop. Now, just for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to just create a simple image. Obviously, you can do a lot more, but just to keep it simple, um, I'm going to first of all create a new layer by clicking on layers. And that's my first layer now I'm going to introduce. So I'm going to head up to my file and open up an image. And there we go. So that's my first layer. Then I'm going to create a second layer. And I'm going to head back to my file, import to canvas and click on from file and I'm going to import my second layer. So I'm going to overlay a couple of images for the purpose of today's video. And now what I'm going to do with this image is first of all, I'm going to use the background removal tool just to remove that background so we can overlay that. It'll take a second. There we go. So now you can already see that I have my first layer underneath and I have my second layer on top. Now what I'm going to do with my second layer, as you can see, I'm going to just move that over slightly so you can kind of drag that over. There we go. And for my third layer, just a simple example, I'm going to add a little speech bubble or an oval call out as it is called in the um, Paint app. And I'm going to create that right over here. And there we go. And let's make that a bright red and increase the size so we can see that a bit better in the video. So here we go. That's layer one, layer two, and layer three. Now, if we right click, we have a couple of other options. So I can hide that first layer and I can show the layer again. I can hit to the next layer and I can hide the same layer. You get the idea and it takes that second layer away and I can reintroduce it. So let's show layer. And if I head to my first layer, you get the idea. And there we go. I can also drag these around to move the layers up and down. Um, so as an example, I can drag this right down to the bottom. And there we go. It removes it. And I can drag this right down to the bottom. And there we go. It gives me my original image. You get the general idea. And I can drag that up. And I can move that up once again. And there we go. Now, if I want to merge this into one image, it's actually quite simple to do and export this as my new image and my work of art, so to speak. Now, you'll see if I right click, there's a couple of options, as I mentioned. So you can hide that layer, you can duplicate it, merge down, move down, and you can also delete a layer if you are busy editing. Now, at this stage, if we merge down, that's going to start merging these layers into one image. So there we go. We have one image now. Now at this stage though, there's no um, option to be able to unmerge uh, the image. The only way we can unmerge layers is to use the um, undo button. So there we go. You get the idea. So I can unmerge those layers. But just to demonstrate, if we just remerge those down. There we go. That's one image. And now what I do is I just... Um, save as, as an example, JPEG image, and I'm going to call that artwork. There we go. Just as a simple example, save that down to my local drive. And now when we head back, we can see now that if I double click on my artwork, there we go. There's my created image using layers. And that's just a brief overview. Obviously, there are a whole lot of different options available. Um, you can fiddle around with different shapes and colors and so on. But that was just a brief overview of the new Layers feature, which is becoming more widely available now. As mentioned, Layers started rolling out 
in my region and just wanted to put it out there in case you hadn't seen or used the feature prior to seeing this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.